Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Thursday, March 15th, 2012. A lot to cover, so let's get right into the charts. I'm going to start off with the S&P 500 E-mini futures. You'll see they are trading higher by 3.5 points at the moment, right to around $13.98 per contract. It's a decent move up on the futures. Uh, dollar is moving down. Lately, the market and the dollar have moved up together which is somewhat strange to see. I don't think that relationship will last all that long, but it has lasted uh, the past three or four days, really ever since the job number, uh, the government jobless claim, uh, the government unemployment number, non-farm payroll report on Friday. So, but we'll see if uh, that still remains the case. And anyway, uh, the, the market is up today, the futures are up today, uh, and that's uh, holding steady as we, as we speak. Uh, the European markets are basically flat. You do have the German DAX, I believe trading higher by about three tenths of one percent. However, um, the markets are somewhat on the quiet side this morning. There's not a lot of uh, big economic data. At 8:30, we will have the initial uh, weekly jobless claims report. I believe will be released, uh, and we'll see if that can move the market. I'm not really sure that will do much there. I also think there's the Empire State Manufacturing Survey at 8:30 as well. So. Uh, again, I think you just uh, sit tight today and see how this market plays out. It is options expiration, and a lot of uh, different stocks will get tossed around by the institutional money. They'll play a lot of games, especially during options expiration, and we are coming into the latter part of that week. So, again, uh, options expiration will be tomorrow. Today, you could get some more game playing uh, out there, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's take a look at GLD this morning. Gold has been hit very, very hard. This morning, you'll see uh, the GLD is trading at around 159.80. That's up a little bit from the close yesterday. The close was 159.57. So not a big move there, but the GLD has really been hit hard as of late. Uh, a sign of deflation. Also, uh, some money coming out of gold. I do not know where it's going. Maybe it's gone into the dollar, but uh, money has definitely come out of gold and silver. Uh, let's take a look at oil this morning. We'll look at the USO first. It looks like the USO trading right around $40.39. USO closed at $40.41. It was down yesterday just a touch. Um, this morning, if you're looking at spot crude, it is up about $0.19 cents to $105.62 a barrel. Believe it or not, oil is still holding up pretty well. It could pull back a little bit more. We cannot rule that out. But there is just a lot of support on the USO around this $38.50. 3835 level at this time now you never know if something comes out and oil could sell hard but uh, with the geopolitical events surrounding it and if the dollar pulls back oil will catch a bid higher or at least hold up and and remain in this somewhat tight range that it is in at the moment so again uh, oil right now not doing all that much today but you have more of a subdued dollar dollar is pulling back by about 11 cents uh, we'll see where this goes again uh, don't take the oil market for granted anytime you have these geopolitical events out there, especially in the Middle East, and you also have a, a dollar that's vulnerable to pull back at any moment. Uh, there are a few stocks in play today. I'm going to start off with Apple. Apple, probably the most widely known stock. It looks like they're going to try to push this thing to 600. When I say they, I mean the institutional money. So Apple looks like it could go to 600. Uh, they'll probably want to get it up there uh, for options X. Yesterday, there was a lot of game playing in Apple. Saw her move all the way up to the 595, then all the way back down to the 575. And this morning, Apple is back up to the 598 level, which is a new high. So we'll have to watch Apple closely, but uh, get ready for some whipsaw there, I believe, at least. Let's take a look at Cisco. Cisco made an acquisition today. I believe they're buying another company from a private equity firm. Stock is down a little bit. I don't think there's a big deal here. Um, Cisco has very good support around 1925 and a lot more support at $19 if it does pull back. So watch those levels there. Here's a stock which I don't know, but I did see it pretty active this morning. Uh, ticker symbol is uh, VRA. This is Vera Bradley. Uh, pretty good little down move here. Traders want to watch for uh, potential bounce support. I'm going to say at $34. It could be $34.30. But I'm going to say 34 bucks, and then 32.70. Those are all levels where you could see some small bounces in this one. Again, um, it's not a big volume name. It has traded over a million shares the past couple days, so we'll have to wait and see exactly, uh, you know, how that plays out. But 
there will be some support 34 and then 3270 if it falls for, past that you can look at 3125 and 2851 all of those levels should give you intraday bounces uh, let's take a look here at Radvision that's ticker symbol RVSN this stock is trading up today I would not touch it if you own it great maybe you take some profits or you trail your stop loss but do not buy this stock up here it is overshot already uh, trading at 1173 potential fade candidate okay gets to 12 bucks I think it's worth a fade uh, could be a fade trade there and that's RVSN okay let's take a look at um, another stock here ITMN I believe this is Intermune uh, this stock is having a nice nice move up today coming off of just a little short two three day base uh, has upside potential to around seventeen dollars and fifteen cents maybe it goes a little bit higher uh, but that's it I would not look to chase it past that um, it, but it does have upside there maybe it trades a little bit higher you can never know it's a decent uh, decent strength gap up so uh, I, I don't think it's gonna be a fade candidate but it will hit resistance around seventeen dollars and 13 cents let's take a look at the Java today Java is making another move up after a two-day pullback there is nothing I would do with this Java. it's still overbought it, it did pull back nicely from 1450 all the way down to $12 yesterday today it's bouncing back up to 12 uh, 1340 there's not a lot to do here just let this thing settle in uh, I would not trade this thing if you own it you know just trail your stop if you don't own it um, don't do anything with it there's really not a lot to do there all right couple things I want to talk about real quickly uh, regarding the foreign markets last night uh, in in Asia you did have the Shanghai index down uh, about uh, three quarters of one percent so Shanghai was down again Hang Seng finished out a, a flat gain it was up two tenths of one percent Nikkei has been the strong index on the back of the weekend uh, and that was up seven tenths of one percent now India last night very very important India last night uh, kept their rates unchanged and the the uh, the index was down I believe 1.36 percent so down about 243 points be careful with India today uh, you're gonna watch these Indian ADRs they could be a little bit vulnerable um, especially if the US markets are vulnerable if the US markets hold up probably the Indian ADRs will hold up okay um, but if the US markets start to fall to watch for weakness in the Indian ADRs you're gonna look at stocks like Tata Motors uh, INFY um, IFN these are all names that you have to watch for uh, that could be under pressure okay but again uh, if the US markets hold up I don't think it will be a big deal but if they start to falter the US market starts to falter these stocks could be vulnerable yesterday the Chinese ADRs were vulnerable they could be vulnerable as well today we can't rule that out um, so again you're gonna have to keep an eye on stocks like Baidu uh, which had a nice little sell-off yesterday uh, today they're rebounding up a little bit um, Sohu which had a real good fade yesterday um, you know today it, it's it's hanging in there um, and then you have stocks like Cena up oh, let's go Cena Corp there we go um, that's up a little bit today but again if the market starts to sell off you could watch for uh, some weakness to come into these Chinese ADRs okay it is 830 it looks like uh, jobless claims are out and you also have February PPI initial weekly jobless claims at 351,000 uh, not really causing a big movement in the futures and I, I didn't think it would be a big big event but nonetheless it's pretty much right in line February PPI looks to be up I believe uh, I'm not sure of the read on that who cares what the number is but in any case the market's still sitting still right at this level up about uh, three and a half to four points at the moment all right so we'll leave it there today I'd like to wish you all a great trading day and I will see you on the charts tomorrow take care everybody